Family to feed, so let's get into this tea. I got my honey sauce with me. So, y'all, we are about to get into Krishan Rock scene with Blueface and Krishan Jr. Nicki Minaj, baby father or, or husband, excuse me, have four words. Girl, I'm dyslexia is, is going crazy right now with my reading. We just going to start the video. Shout out the voice. Now people have been speculating that Blueface is with Krishan Rock. A few people said that they saw Blueface at BWI, which is an airport in Baltimore. If you don't know, Krishan is still in Baltimore with Krishan Jr. But baby. last night, it might have been confirmed that Krishan Rock and Blueface are definitely still together. Several employees at the Cheesecake Factory said that they saw them together with the baby. One employee took a picture with Krishan and post. Now... Shout out to my good sis. Uh, I can't remember your name, friend, but I have a lot of ladies on Instagram sending me stuff every day. I appreciate y'all so much. I'm going to be giving y'all lunch real soon. All y'all. Um, I thought that this was old. Okay. I told her, I said, friend is giving old. She said, friend, she just posted it. Right. And I'm thinking it's just an old picture. So she was saying that, and did y'all see the video? Okay. She was saying that Krishan just basically looked high and drunk right here. Um, and my thing is, she probably was. <laughs> like, she probably was high and drunk, though. Like, ultimately, she done dropped the baby. See, what we thought Krishan was going to do, because let's talk about it. What we thought she was going to do was be drinking while she had that baby up in her stomach. Krishan did what she was supposed to do as far as getting that baby uh, to this world safe. She got the baby here safe. Okay. So now, if she want to drink or have her uh, a motherfucking blunt, baby, she can. <laughs> Period. Okay? So that was my argument with her. Um, She said, oh, I just met Krishan while she's the sweetest person in the world. Shake my head. Not Krishan and Blueface eating at Cheesecake Factory where my HG, I don't know, work and only leaving a $30 tip. First of all, half these celebrities don't even leave tips. Where am I home? Huh? Girl, work. Home girl. Child, if that was 20%, she said that they left 20%. I think that that's good. Now, granted, he got money. I'm sure he could slide $100, whatever, y'all. Twenty percent, eighteen, twenty percent, and it you does. might get twenty-two. Okay, okay. I ain't gotta give you a hundred dollars just because my name is Krishan Rock and my name is Blueface. Yeah, I like don't, I, stop being I, entitled. Yeah, and that that was ungrateful as hell. As fuck. Um, like, and you, they only left thirty dollars. Girl, you could have had two. You know when you go up in there and they eat they whole hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, maybe run that check up to a thousand dollars, honey, and they leave you maybe two dollars, and then you want to run behind their asses and tell them, nah, baby, you can keep that. Okay, you can keep this. <laughs> them too. You can keep. Yeah. Okay. Because you tried. Let me tell you something. You could have kept that dollar twenty five cent. Could, I don't know why you trying me like okay. that. Shall I used to um. I used to uh, Child, serve. Them down. I used to serve. <laughs> you forgot something. <laughs> I used to serve, and baby, I served a table of like eight, <coughs> and they were eating on the company card. Child. The company card. And the nigga did not tip me at all. Child. And it'd be a lot of companies out here, y'all, that's richer than Blueface and Croissant, and they don't tip. They don't tip at all. They will actually tell you not to. They would want you to come out your own pocket and tip. If they paying for lunch, that's that's the issue. When no, they, they tip too. No. Oh, they tipped you? Business, no, business cards are a part of the tip as well. What they don't pay for is alcohol. That's it. Right. That's Okay, so that's not what I was saying. Oh. What I was saying is that business will pay for your meal, but they will expect you to tip on if you get anything outside of your what they're paying for, is what I was saying. So that would that would include your drinks if that's what they're not paying for. No, they didn't pay for the tip, but that's supposed to include the tip. That is so what you were saying is what I was saying. Right. So okay. if it's including so say for instance a business decides to go out, I'm about to buy whatever for all these people. They don't exclude the tip on that because the person has to get the tip. That's what they right. work for in the first place. So why the hell you got a business card and not tipping me? And I know I did good. Fucked up. 
But they ain't paying for the alcohol. Tell you that. Some, in some businesses, when I was driving Uber, child, them businesses will get them employees drunk as hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for real. But not them that day. They'll pay for more and people were, Okay. We're trying to get the waitress to take a picture of Krishan with Blueface, which she refused. She tweet, I was not about to take a picture of them people. I got to work here. So this right. is the waitress and she called Blueface out. She said, tipping only 20% is crazy. And then she called out Blueface. Now her friend also called Blueface out as well. She said, shaking my head, not Krishan and Blueface eating at the Cheesecake Factory with my homegirl working, only leaving a $30 tip. Y'all leave in the comments because we always run into this question. Should celebrities pay more than 20%? No. And if so, what's the appropriate amount? Now the bill came up to 150 because 20 of 150 is $30. The Period. homegirl said the waitress received $30. Now, should he have paid double the 20%, which is $60, no. or triple, which is $90? Y'all no. let me know in the comments down below. Me, per voice, friend. You that's lucky not, you even got $30. That's not what the receipt say. And you know we always get the receipt. And they tell you, first of all, let's talk about it. If mm. you're going to work at a restaurant, work at a restaurant that requires gratuity. Period. I love restaurants that require gratuity because I ain't got to think about what the hell I'm about to give you because I want to make sure I give my rightful tip as well. But 20% is the rightful tip. But don't work at no restaurant you ain't getting gratuity since they playing you anyway. You're getting played. You're a waitress. You should already know that <laughs> you might not get tipped. It's <laughs> okay. Sorry, it's a little gamble out there when you're a waitress. I mean, that's why you're supposed to work that mouthpiece of yours. So regardless <laughs> of the fact or whatever that that um, bill is, you're going to get that tip. So regardless, if that's $10, 20 30 40 $50, you should be happy because that's more than what you walked in that mother with. Hello. Okay? That's it. That's, that's all. all I'm I saying. ain't got to pay you. I ain't got to give you $60 just because... <laughs> My name is Blueface. Uh -uh. Man, girl, fuck and you. I know somebody was there that day and didn't tip her ass at all. And that's probably why she's saying what she's saying because he walked through the door and you think that he's supposed to tip outrageously high as fuck because his name is Blueface. And girl, don't nobody mm -hmm. give a fuck about you. He I gave you the 20%. He don't even want us to know he there. Thank you. Hello? He hiding. You ain't hiding, nigga. Girl. <laughs> Personally, I think he should have left a little bit more being that Cheesecake Factory did accommodate him and Sean because no customer said that they saw them, meaning that they probably was in a VIP section and being that they did accommodate them, he could have gave a little bit more. But y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes That's to that. you with a bull. <laughs> so rumors were that Nicki Minaj's husband Kenneth Petty was backstage with his goons at the VMAs awards and he said this What? I don't know what neither one of them just I, said. I act I, stupid. I, I. Nigga, we from Queens base, blah blah blah. <laughs> <laughs> the hell was that? Over it. And these awards. And he said this. The big queens, and the right? other nigga, what are you saying? Big queens. I guess he's trying to say big queens, but his ass is saying big, big queens. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What? Now, if y'all didn't hear Kenneth Petty in the background, he said, we waiting for y'all to act stupid, man. And this might be uh, why Nicki Minaj was upset backstage at the awards, because allegedly people were saying that Kenneth Petty got removed from the VMAs awards. And before he got removed, Cardi B tweet, I ain't even flinch, which a lot of people were saying that she probably didn't flinch because she's surrounded around a lot of security. But that same friend that recorded that received a DM from Offset. And now Kenneth Petty is responding to Offset DM, which here's what he had to say. And then Offset responded to him. What was Offset? DM. I think to myself, oh, they, they wanted to come at me at the VMAs, man. I ain't All even, we ain't even do nothing to nobody, man. Way, man. What's poppin', man? What's poppin', man? Nigga, nobody hollering at me, man. 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 Nigga, nobody hollering at in a relationship, well, excuse me, you're the husband to Nicki Minaj. Like that, that saying of you can take them out, but you can't take it out of them is a true statement. Action, nigga. Because what are we talking about? Man, money, man. This shit, keep playing. Yeah. All y'all yeah. bitches, yeah. let's play, man. Y'all yeah. wanna play? It's all fun and games, yeah. too. We wanna play, too. We outside. Yeah. Somebody tell Offset. Because Offset DM me. He DM yeah. me. On, DM nigga, Cuckoo. Man. I you know, hate the way you talk. Fuck. He damn me. He damn me. He damn cuckoo. He off the set. Hey, that whole gang can suck a He off the set. Don't make us put you set. 
talking about. Look at I had you scared, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Off the north, set. I had yeah. you scared, boy. A lot of y'all. Ah. Oh, a lot of y'all. Man, I'm talking. Y'all wasn't that. Y'all niggas checking in? At all. Keep, keep believing in these. Legendary. Keep believing in these. Damn, it's a lot of. Man. Wow. So ah. Go, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, yeah, what? Stupid. That's them? Oh, no, that oh, ain't that them. Ain't oh, that ain't them. That ain't them. That ain't them. Ah, stuck. Sturdy. Popping. What's happening? What's wrong? Money, man. What's up? Yeah. Why are y'all leaving Who the fans? Who is he talking to? He's, he's, he's talking, offset. He talking he's talking to offset. offset. Why are y'all even saying sturdy at this big age? <laughs> what are we talking about? Why aren't you laid up in your mansion with your son and your wife? Like, what in the fuck? Yeah, dude. You're on that vacation. Yeah. You're planning your funeral. Yeah. Yeah, all the way to the street. <laughs> I'm getting out of jet. You know what I mean? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? D, bro. <laughs> Yo, this nigga opposite goofy as hell. We up in our jets. Y'all got that. Y'all be standing outside. Okay, they're right, literally standing no. outside talking shit. Literally Can't outside. Can't even get in the club. Okay, that's wild, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. That's not like gangster. That's lame. <laughs> like niggas is outside on the block smoking a small, very small blunt, drunk. <laughs> like yo, I would have been in the y'all. Let me tell y'all something. Do y'all remember when we went into Covisha? And when we went into Covisha. One thing I don't agree with a lot with Coach Stormy, but one thing she did say is you created the hell that you're living in right now, right? So say for instance, you was in an apartment and you ain't had no damn furniture, you ain't had no ways, you ain't had no food, and we could barely go outside, right? I'm getting somewhere with it. Relax. <laughs> so I would love to be that nigga in my mansion at night not on nobody's block in Queens. Why? <laughs> like, y'all, nigga in a mansion, feet kicked up, chilling. What are we, what? <laughs> like, oh my God. They still got something to prove. Y'all let us know what y'all think now in the comment section below, girl, because I'm over it. Uh, love y'all. Appreciate y'all.